Guys and girls, are you shocked? <laughs> oh my God, I am laughing for so many reasons. I'm laughing because number one, you guys are probably going, Kelly, you have come back and put on a new YouTube video and said, hey, I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna be, you know it wouldn't be a YouTube video if I wasn't fussing with my hair. Um, I've come back so many times over the past year or so saying, you know, hey, I'm going to be back at it, whatever. Suffice it to say, there's been a whole lot going on and I have a whole lot to tell you guys, but you might notice there's new surroundings here. So I am coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. So I have moved um, from Austin to San Antonio. So for those of you that may be stumbling on my uh, video today and you haven't watched me in a while, I moved first from Chicago to Austin. That was very unexpected. I'll be telling you the story of that because there's a whole learning story, life lesson story behind that later. Um, so I moved from Chicago to Austin and then um, I have, let's see, when did this happen? December 2017, I met the love of my life, absolutely the love of my life, on a dating app um, and he and I have been, so he's from, he's always lived in San Antonio and we have been going back and forth from Austin to San Antonio for the better part of, sorry, I need to just take a peek and make sure I'm recording. Um, it appears so. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to get to that, why I'm checking in a minute and what I'm doing with the lighting and the video equipment and why you're actually going to consistently see me instead of going, oh, Kelly said she's going to be back again and she's not. Um, but yeah, we have been going back and forth between um, Austin and San Antonio, mostly him, mostly him coming up to Austin. Sometimes it was me and, and we decided we were gonna move in together and get a place and that I would move to San Antonio because um, he's a, a partner in a law firm down here and it would just be easier. My business and my businesses are mobile as you guys can probably pick up. You, you guys know, it also would not be a Kelly Alexa vlog if I was not futzing with my workout clothes. But you might actually see some um, videos of me, not in my workout clothes shortly. Stay tuned for that. I'm just catching up with you guys and I'm also testing out some of my camera equipment per my last video. So um, anyway, here I am. We have been here two weeks. We are actually leaving uh, on vacation uh, tomorrow. Sorry guys. I'm getting there, but this is kind of looking a little, little weird to me. I chose the wrong hoodie to wear in this video because this is going to just get on my last nerve. How long can I go without touching the sweatshirt? I'm going to start right now and I'm not going to touch it. Do you think I can do it? Um, so anyway, we have been here two weeks. I will tell you all this. Um, I bought a bunch of new video equipment because I have my new course that I'm launching. And I bought all of this earlier in the year because we were originally going to launch in January. And all things considered, I had also launched my own personal business venture uh, in December, a business called Socially Fit Services, which you can check out on my website. You can go to kellyalexa.com. I have a new website. Um, I haven't been blogging or shooting videos for a couple of years um, for a myriad reasons. And you guys will catch up on all of that. I know a lot of you guys have been finding me here. A lot of you ladies have been finding me here on YouTube and kind of chasing me down. I don't mean that in a bad way. Chasing me down on Instagram and Facebook and asking questions about my bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, where I'm at with that, what I recommend. I plan to do videos on that, so stay tuned. I certainly plan to do videos on my fitness. There have been some major ups, major downs, and now I'm, I'm back on and up and things are going great. I'll update you on my doctor. I'll actually have my doctor here on video as well. Um, just a whole lot going on, but um, the move from Austin to San Antonio was it just took a lot more out of me than I anticipated. I have never really been that person that, you know, when it comes to moving, cheers by the way. I've never really been that person when it comes to moving that is like, oh my God, it's gonna be so awful, it's so stressful. This move was so stressful. I was so busy, I was so swamped, I was so full of anxiety and tension about, I mean, I just felt like every day I was going to Lowe's, buying more boxes, buying more packing tape, buying more everything. And because uh, my man had a trial the 
day that we had the movers coming, it's not like he could take a day off and come help me. So it was really just me all by myself. And, you know, I didn't have my family as a backup, like in case I hadn't packed something. If When I was up in Chicago, I could have said to my neighbor or my friends, like, hey, can you keep this at your house or ship this to me? Like, I had to have everything done. So that's why I ended up making the decision to put off the launch of my course until after I was moved in. Um, like I said, we've been here two weeks. And for the most part, we're unpacked. Um, our guest bedroom is not set up. We have a lot of now new furniture to buy. This is a much bigger place than um, my place up in Austin. It's all good. But I mean, it's like I moved down here and then I had like one day, not even one day, to breathe. We had internet issues, we had movers issues, they broke my TV, um, and I had to basically like pack up all my stuff, keep working with my clients, get down, have the moving day, get down here, unpack, get my office set up, immediately get back to work. There were so many different situations where I was like not able to find things. Um, I was doing so great with packing and moving, and then what I didn't do great was at the very last day when the movers were coming, you know how you wait to pack the things that you use every single day, like your coffee maker, like what you use for your office, your makeup, your skincare, all of that kind of stuff. You pack that at the last minute. Well, what happened is I was packing all that stuff that is the most important stuff that I use every day at the last minute and I didn't like label it where it was. I didn't, I was so rushed with the movers, I didn't know. So hence when I got down here, I got, you guys, I can't tell you how much I was like, where is my printer? Where is this part of my desk? You know, the stand desk. Where is the coffee maker? Where's my makeup remover? Where's my skincare? It was like, all of that stuff was crazy. And I'll give you guys a tour of the place later. But this whole kitchen nook area that's on the other side of the camera was literally filled this whole, it was like, I don't even know what the square footage is. It's probably eight feet by eight feet. It was filled with boxes, just filled. Um, I'm kind of amazed how much I got done in such a short amount of time, but it has been crazy. And hence, I'm just now, the day before we leave for vacation, shooting video. This bad boy, these are all of the modules that I'm shooting today, hopefully. Um, my estimation is I have five hours of video production for my brand new course. And my brand new course, I will link up down below. I want you guys to check it out. Actually, I should say very carefully, I want you ladies to go check this out. This course, and I'm gonna do a separate video on this. Part of what I'm doing today is shooting a video for my YouTube fans to say, hello, I'm back, thank you for supporting me, thank you for continuing to email me and ask me when I'm be gonna be back. Now that I'm moved, now that I'm in San Antonio, now that I actually have a mini studio set up here for video production, you will see me back um, and you will see consistency. And, and I'm, I'm actually super, I'm, I'm so excited. I've wanted to get back to blogging for a while. I wanted to redo my website for a while. I wanted to um, do so many things, but for myriad reasons, I kept putting it off because I kept trying to solve the world's problems. And now I'm focusing on myself, which allows me to focus on you girls. I was about to say you guys, but really in particular, the link down below, if you, if you ladies go to theoppositeofnice.com, that is the sales page for my brand new course. And I, I really can't stress this enough. I'll do a separate video. I, I have felt like in the past couple of months, th this, this concept came to me, the need for this course came to me in December. Um, I didn't have the idea. I didn't say, oh, I want to do a course. What can I do a course on? What happened was I, just very coincidentally was having a lot of conversations with different women. And some of them were younger than me, some of them same age, some of them were older. And these were business conversations where these women were just selling them short, some selling themselves short again and again and again. Um, women in their personal lives, letting themselves get taken advantage of, manipulated, screwed over. Um, and and it, I just constantly kept having these conversations with people 
kind of like, you know, verbally shaking them going, what are you doing? Why are you hosting an event and not charging for it? Why are you giving people sponsorships to your event and not charging for it? Why are you, why are you, uh, you know, offering this course with all this stuff and charging this little rate? Why are you doing free work for clients? Why are you doing this, this, and these are all mistakes I've made as well. But when you guys understand a big part of the hell that the last two years have been for me, and when you start to hear from me the changes that it's made in me, that's what led me to what I believe is my true calling. I believe that this course is why I was put on this earth. This is what I'm meant to do, which is help other women see how they're playing small, see how they have been settling for less, see how they haven't been believing them in themselves, and teach them how to become better, dramatically better at whatever they're doing. Whether you work for somebody else or whether you want to start your business but haven't believed, start your own business, but haven't believed in yourself enough to do it. Or if you started your own business, but you're floundering and you just don't know how you can get to that place that you see other people, you see other people on Instagram or YouTube and you're like, they must have something that I don't. No, they just have extreme confidence and determination and they focus on action and there's a whole lot of things, but nobody's just born with the innate ability to be a, a business success, but we all can be. And the past two years of really a lot of hell have changed me so much and that those changes in me have allowed me to launch a new business in December and get it in less than two and a half months to a profitable six figure point projecting to get to seven figures by summer. And if I can do that and, and do that in a much more accelerated fashion than I did with my first business, Fitfluential, that I founded in 2011 as the most reluctant, unexpected entrepreneur on the planet, then I can teach you how to do it. I know exactly, I see women making the same mistakes again and again and again. I'm not gonna let this video get, get too off track and get too into that, but ladies, this is a big part of what I'm focusing on. It's definitely what I'm passionate about. You're still gonna see me coming back here. I'm still gonna be focusing on sharing my fitness journey. I just turned 50 this week. Um, I am definitely seeing huge successes this year because I chose to really start listening to myself instead of doubting myself and putting myself in the hands of other people who were guiding me in the completely wrong direction. And that's a big part too, just to tie it back down to my course. I used to not trust myself. I used to not believe that I could know better, that, that my instincts were, were spot on and that I should be listening to my instincts. Now that I do, I'm seeing major results in my body, in my personal life, in my business life, in every life, every part of your life. You have to be able to, as my business coach said to me when she first started working with me, you have to be able to drive the bus in your life. If you're not driving the bus and you're letting everybody else make your decisions for you, and that means in every area, you're not really living your life. You're living somebody else's version of your life and that's just no bueno. So I've already hit a typical Kelly Alexa 13 minute video. So I am going to upload this, see if my new approach with my camera works, fingers crossed. And stay tuned guys and gals because you will see me back here on a regular basis. I might play around with where I have my camera um, because there's a lot of great lighting um, spots in this place. I think this is the one I wanted to start with for today, but I will see you soon. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed here and um, certainly head on over to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you are subscribed there as well because we are just getting started. I have a business blog that's going live there. I have a personal blog that'll be the fitness, health, wellness, personal growth kind of stuff and then the business will be more specifically obviously targeted on business lessons um, things that I share for my business clients and but obviously some of you overlap so you should subscribe and make sure that you are set to be updated when all of that goes live but until then you guys it's great to be back I will see you soon